In this tutorial, we're going to create this cool automatic equalizer effect using the shape tools. So I'm just going to start with a fresh scene and I'm going to go to composition and create a new composition. 1280p, 25 frames, duration 120, that's great. So next I'm going to create a shape. So I'm just going to click on the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a bar, something like that. I'm going to go into the rectangle and I'm going to turn off stroke and I'm going to set the fill to white. Now I'm going to click on the shape layer here and I'm going to hit Y and I'm going to move the anchor. Um, I'm going to hold down control so the anchor snaps to this bottom edge in the middle and then I'm going to click on my rectangle inside of the shape layer and I'm going to move the anchor again. Whoops. Click Y and then I'm just going to drag it to the bottom here, roughly at the base. And I'm just going to go back to the select tool. Next, I'm just going to close this and I'm going to add a repeater. And I'm going to put this outside of the rectangle and below it like that. So inside of the repeater, I'm going to create uh, several copies, maybe eight. And I'm going to open up transform repeater. We've got some further options here. So the position, I'm just going to bring these in closer. And I'm just going to leave it there for now. I'm going to come back to this. Next, I'm going to add a wiggle transform and I'm going to put that below the repeater. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to open up transform. And I'm just going to adjust the position. So if we play this back, we get this type of animation, which is pretty cool because we haven't added any keyframes and it's animating automatically. Next, I'm going to play with the scale. Um, I basically want to unlink the scale, so I'm going to click on the chain. And then I'm just going to adjust the scale until the bases match up. And I'm actually going to set my position to 100. And then if I set my Y scale to minus 50, the bases should align perfectly. So now when I play this back, we get this cool equalizer effect and the bases are all in line. And we can adjust the correlation, we can adjust the frequency, wiggles per second. So increasing that makes it more frantic and decreasing it makes it smoother. And you might notice a slight uh, movement in the base. That's because I didn't align my anchor perfectly to the bottom, uh, but that's okay. Overall, it looks uh, pretty, pretty cool. Might want to increase the wiggles per second to about two. Correlation is basically um, the kind of difference between each bar. So if the correlation is 100, there's going to be hardly any variance. And if it's lower, there's going to be quite a large variance between them. And you can play with the temporal phase and the spatial phasing. Further uh, options to kind of randomize it. And we've got the random seed, obviously, which gives us a completely different arrangement depending on the seed number. And yeah, so this is quite a cool setup because it's uh, easily editable. We can create more copies and can bring it, can play with the offset. I 
going to kind of sway the position. Do all kinds of uh, crazy stuff. That's pretty ugly. Maybe some rotation. So that's the tutorial just to show you the power of the repeater combined with Wiggle Transform. Um, I'll dwell deeper into this in the next few lessons, but uh, that's just something to get you started. Uh, please share this if you find it useful, and thanks for watching.